So I'm John Biggs, and we're here at Disrupt 2015 in New York, and we're going about to look at a brand new serving system for my favorite food, which is beer. So you guys have something amazing to show me here. Absolutely. So our, our pursuit and focus when we designed physics was to take any beer out of a can, bottle, or growler and exceed the quality of a draft pour. And what we did was uh, we did a lot of research. We found that 70% of all beer is consumed in the home. And we developed this system um, that really focuses in on two key principles. The first principle is how we dispense the, board, the beer. And we do so under a controlled rate to maintain as much carbonation in the beer as possible during the, the tapping process. And then uh, we create a very dense uh, foam head which is one of the most critical elements of the beer drinking experience because that's where a lot of the aroma and the flavor and taste come from. But our technology really um, creates this, this foam that's really smooth and creamy and rich and it takes any beer and upgrades it to its, its maximum potential. So you'll see right now I'm just serving um, some Brooklyn Brew for you and you'll see that the foam on that is very dense and when you take a sip of it immediately you're going to notice an enhanced aroma which is a flavor but you get this smooth rich and creaminess to it that you can't find in any carbonated beer today. So wait, a minute. So, wait. so you put the bottle in now it's a you already you already lost me because we have to we have to put a bottle into the thing and then yes. I'm gonna be it's gonna be tiring and I just want to open the beer, but this is far superior to the beer that was that's that would come out of the bottle. Exactly. So during a hand pour, you would pour the beer down the side of the glass at a 45 degree angle, and then you would pour the beer straight down to create the foam. Yeah. When you do so, you're you're making your whole beer flat because you're agitating all the carbonation in the body of the beer. Uh, so we control the when we're pouring the beer out to maintain as much carbonation in the body. And then our technology really surrounds them, giving that really dense foam. And that's where all the ester volatile compounds in the beer are released, and that really gives you all that flavor, enhanced taste. But the mouthfeel is something superior. That's where that rich, smooth, and creaminess comes from. So I'm going to say one thing that's very unusual. And this is, we can't taste this. So, But it tasted like, this beer, which I've probably had before, yes. tasted like some of the first beers I ever had as a young adult at college or whatever where it was like still new and fresh and fun. So you, you may have achieved something great here. It's like, it's the, it's the like a virgin of beers. It's for amazing. All and it's, it weighs less than three and a half pounds. It works on three AA batteries. It's completely portable. So we want, what we wanted to do is give you the best possible beer drinking experience out of a bottle or a can or a growler, because that's where 70% of the beer is consumed, is that you're at home, camping, tailgating, um, and we want to give you that, that draft pour right out of a can or bottle. So your best bet is to get a big can like that and just put it in there for a while? Yeah, so we can accommodate up to a 26 ounce can or a 64 ounce growler, but you know, there's so many great selection of craft beers that are available today, over 4,000 different craft beers in the U.S. alone. So we like the ability so you can have a variety. Instead of purchasing a big kegerator, which are very difficult and hard to clean and require an AC outlet and then everybody's consuming the same type of beer, um, this is fantastic. There's a, it's a lot of fun to use, great social aspect to it, um, but it really works and that's really the, the labors are our engineers. I feel, like, I feel like what you should have done is put a real garbage beer in, but... <laughs> Just to really test it. The best way is, I can let you taste the same beer, not through our system, but just in a, a glass or a hand pour, um, so you can tell the side-by-side the -side comparison. So here's a direct hand pour. And the first thing you'll see is, you get very little head, but if you focus on the bubbles, those bubbles are large. So what happens is, in a hand pour, even a draft pour, those large bubbles you will feel a grainy type of texture. And that's why people are so split on whether they want foam or don't want foam. Now, every, every great beer uh, drinker understands that there's a lot of value in having foam on a beer, because that's where a lot of the flavor and the aroma and the taste come from. But up until now, you haven't been able to get um, that really dense foam without any additives. So we'll use no forced carbonation, no nitrogen, uh, we actually utilize sound waves to create that dense foam, and we currently have IP on it. Um, it's patent pending, and we're we're so excited. We're we're beer, big beer geeks, and you know we spent two years developing this. This is actually a three D three D printed uh, prototype that we printed in our lab, and it really works. It's phenomenal.
All right, there you have it. Physics, where do people find you? So you can find us on Indiegogo. Very cool. So now I just worry that I'm going to not have a lot of time to focus on this, but I'm going to give it a try. I'll, when, so next, next time we're out in the, uh, in the picnic table, I'll, I'll sit there and very methodically pour beers for people, and they'll be amazed. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, thanks a lot, guys.